the deadly neurotoxin artemapin works quickly to block potassium channels in the body, causing rhythmic fluctuations in blood pressure and cardiovascular collapse. Left untreated, an Indian red scorpion sting can lead to pulmonary edema, causing death in less than 72 hours. What color is the deadliest scorpion? Image result for how deadly is red scorpion. Descriptive info, the Indian red scorpion has been said to be the most lethal in the world. This tiny scorpion packs a huge punch. When stung, victims typically experience nausea, heart problems, discoloration of the skin, and, in more severe cases, pulmonary edema, and accumulation of fluid in the lungs. What to do if a red scorpion bites you? Lifestyle and home remedies. Clean the wound with mild soap and water. Apply a cool compress to the affected area. This may help reduce pain. Don't consume food or liquids if you're having difficulty swallowing. Take an over-the-counter pain reliever as needed. Is there a scorpion that can kill a human? In fact, the United States has only one type of scorpion that is considered deadly to humans. The Arizona bark scorpion, Centruroides sculpturatus, is the only deadly scorpion present in the U.S. Both its scientific and common names have changed throughout the years. What are the top 5 deadliest scorpions? Image result Spitting thick tail black scorpion. This is one of the largest scorpions, and is also known as the South African fat tail scorpion. Yellow fat tail scorpion. Brazilian yellow scorpion. Arabian fat tailed scorpion. Death stalker scorpion. Are scorpion bites lethal? Image result. Scorpion stings are painful but rarely life threatening. Young children and older adults are most at risk of serious complications. In the United States, the bark scorpion, found mainly in the desert southwest, is the only scorpion species with venom potent enough to cause severe symptoms. Where is the death stalker scorpion? The death stalker scorpion, Laurus quinquestriatus, lives in hyperarid and arid regions. They originate from the pale arctic regions as well as the West Asia and the Middle East. How can you tell if a scorpion is poisonous? There is only one rule when it comes to scorpions, if the scorpion has a thick tail and small pincers, it is venomous. The reason is simple, the prominent body parts are the main weapon. Scorpions with thick tails kill their prey with a venomous sting, while scorpions with a big pincers catch their prey with it. What do scorpions consume? Insects. Scorpions are predators. They consume all types of insects, spiders, centipedes, and even other scorpions. Scorpions are preyed upon by large centipedes, tarantulas, lizards, birds, especially owls, and mammals such as bats, shrews, and grasshopper mice. What do scorpions consume? Are there non-venomous scorpions? Image result. The emperor scorpion fluoresces greenish-blue under ultraviolet light. They are known for their docile behavior and almost harmless sting, they do not use their sting to defend themselves when they are adults, however, they may use it in their adolescent stages. What attracts scorpions to your house? Image result. Water and moisture. Look around the outside of your home. Standing water or a leaking hose next to the house can be inviting to scorpions. Inside your house, bathrooms, kitchens, and laundry rooms are common water sources. Leaking pipes are the usual culprits but even damp spaces, like basements, are enticing. Can scorpions climb walls? Image result. They are very good climbers, in fact. Scorpions have tiny pincers on the ends of their legs or feet which are known as unguis. Remember, in nature, scorpions prefer to climb around in rocks and on trees. However, they can also climb the walls of your home if there is sufficient rough surface for them to grip. How many stings from a scorpion could likely kill you? Scorpion stings. Of the 1,500 species of scorpions worldwide, 
only about 20 to 25 are regarded as dangerous. A scorpion's venom is a mixture of compounds, including neurotoxins that affect the victim's nervous system. Can scorpions fly? Scorpions do not have wings. Wings, however, are present on an insect, with only three pairs of legs, that is reddish-brown in coloration and looks like a scorpion. Although the wings are rather large, flight in most species is of short duration, and the insect lands within a few feet of its previous position. Can a death stalker scorpion kill you? Image result. Hazards. The death stalker is one of the most dangerous species of scorpions. Its venom is a powerful mixture of neurotoxins, with a low lethal dose. While a sting from this scorpion is extraordinarily painful, it normally would not kill a healthy adult human. Are all scorpions poisonous? All scorpions are indeed venomous, though their venom varies greatly in potency. This means that if you're stung by a species other than the bark scorpion, the symptoms will likely only include localized pain and discomfort that should resolve within an hour or two. Why do scorpions exist? In nature, scorpions are highly beneficial. Scorpions are predators, and so they feed on a variety of potential pest organisms. Some scorpions also feed on other scorpions, so they do have an important role in the environment potentially controlling pest populations, insects. If there's anything you want to learn about scorpion comments down below.